So welcome back. Feeling repetitive? Happy Memorial's Day is Memorial Day. To you all, for those who celebrate, those who remember, those who sacrificed, and those who still sacrifice. So I've got this ready to go here, these. They've had plenty of drying time since I did the other Cosmos piece. These ones, these ones. <laughs> English has left me today. So these are gonna be martinis, and of course, just over here, I've got another page laid out, and I don't know if you can see the red marks along the side, and then also up here on the top, but that's my slight grid to help figure out where to place them. I'm gonna do more martini glasses, but in this case, this is gonna be the mixed drinks piece, so it'll be all sorts of different drinks that come in a martini glass. So I'm gonna start um, setting up to print and then we'll um, give you a view of that. So just a moment, I'm gonna move the camera and we will move forward. So now the next thing is to uh, prep the ink. And I'm using Speedball Professional Black Ink. And this is oil-based, which is part of the reason I have to wait for things to dry for so long. But I've tried the water base and it stays open. It doesn't dry all the way. And so better to have to wait a while before being able to print. So that is the piece inked up, ready to go. See the nice gloss. And then we'll switch over to uh, printing on the paper. So, and this is sort of, you know, normally you would use a block, you know, a press and all of that, but you know, I'm breaking the rules as per usual. So it's just lining up the bottom and the side with my marks giving it a good firm press and getting a lousy print. But that print is kind of a sketch for me. So I'm not, I would be sorely disappointed if I was trying to just do multiple prints. But that's not the game here. This is a sketch. But to keep me from getting too representational, that print's a little better. I'm using the print as the starting method to this idea. Um, and I've got so many of these in my head. My major frustration is, you may notice all the stained glass supplies, that I've lost a lot of wall space <laughs> that I used to have. Um, if you scroll back through all these videos, you'll be able to see a studio tour, a fairly recent studio tour. Might be time for another one of those. But, I used to have a lot more wall space, but now between wood and stained glass and moving the table against the wall, I just don't have as much room for hanging artwork and for starting pieces. So I gotta have to print one, or print two, paint one, but since I've got one to paint, I can only print one. I had this piece of paper cut, so I was gonna go ahead and use it. I um, was planning on doing a smaller piece. So before I switch to time-lapse and knock this out, I will remind you that um, really do appreciate comments and follows. Thumbs up, help other people find this, you found it. 
maybe others want to see it, and either if you can tell them about it or send a link to somebody. Or giving a thumbs up or leaving a comment will help others find it too. I hope you're enjoying watching this. So, I'm going to switch to time lapse and let you enjoy the rest of the process. All right, so that's printed. It is hot and humid today, so I can't wait to get the gloves off. Whoo, yes indeed. Um, when I was printing this, the thought occurred to me, you know, all the cooking shows where they say, see, and there we put it in the oven, and then poof, they pull out another one. Well, that's kind of what I'm gonna do here. So, the one to the left is printed freshly printed. The one to the right was printed, well, over a painting ago. So it's time to start working on that one. I will um, stop this video here. Remind you again, please give me a follow. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you feel so inclined. Let me know what you think of the process because now is martini time. Not to drink, just to paint. Again, paint what you know, know what you paint. Talk to y'all later.